was putting my substance first. I was putting the street first. Me and my wife were uh, living at the uh, in an S10, Chevy S10, a 91 truck. The engine was blown, little two door. My son's inside my mom's house in the apartment. We're in the parking lot living in the truck. My daughter's staying with her mom and none of the kids are there. My wife's feeling doubt, second guessing the marriage, second guessing me. And uh, it popped in my head, why don't we uh, just end it? The kids are miserable. My kids don't love me. I'm not being a dad. I'm not taking nobody to the park. I'm not taking nobody to school. Uh, there was times that school functions would happen and because we were homeless and didn't have a proper shower, I didn't want to go stand in a, in a gym with a bunch of other parents looking at me like, and I don't want nobody to know that that was my kid's dad. That that guy over there, that's homeless. That stay away from him. I, I I didn't want to be that person. My wife went in with the kids to different organizations and she did uh, orientations. And they, the same or coordinated assessment, the same type of paperwork, but when it came up with the checks and everything that they do, my name came up and ex-gang member, drug trafficking, all that stuff came up against me, where it was almost to me, like they were breaking up the family. Part of me was like debating, maybe I have to let my family go for them to succeed. But when heading home, it wasn't that. It was like, you're coming right along with them. You're all gonna prosper at the same time together. All you guys are gonna have a house. All you guys are gonna be in the motel. All you guys are gonna be taken care of. It took us four days to move in with the voucher. It, it just like, we gave them the voucher. We went to two or three different ones. They weren't working. They weren't going along. Then the inspection came up and the right house opened up. I get to do stuff that I never thought I was capable of, of being a, like a proper father. I always saw it in movies and saw stuff, but I always thought because of the cards I was dealt and the race that I was and the neighborhood that I lived in and the poverty that we went through that that was it for the rest of my life. I've been working with Heading Home, going on a few months, and it's so awesome because I get to take that housing first on my side. I get to worry about them and ask them, hey, are you looking for an apartment? Hey, are you doing this? Hey, remember, concentrate on housing. Uh, fill out this application here. And what I've been doing now, so I work with Heading Home, I cut hair. I wanted to be a barber, but then there is more to it. I don't want to be just a regular barber cutting at a shop. I want to be that homeless barber. I want to be the guy that cuts the hair for the homeless and actually helps them because I know a lot of these guys, they're like, hey, I have a job interview, but my hair looks like this. And they put on the nice suit and they put on everything, but they still don't feel right. You cut that hair and you like let them feel good about themselves when you're cutting their hair and you're talking to them and you're encouraging them and uplifting them and they get out of your chair like they already got the job. To me, I just, I love that. Heading home literally like gave me that opportunity where we can't give you your life back, but we can help you work hard to get your life back or to get a new one.